Hi, welcome to this tutorial about Banktree Personal Finance version 3. In this tutorial, I will talk to you about backing up, restoring and archiving. As with any data on your computer, there is always a potential risk that it may become corrupted, accidentally deleted or that your computer might experience a hard disk failure. You must therefore have a copy of your data file so you can recover from such an event. The backup should be done on an external hard drive or a memory stick. You might also consider backing up your Banktree data file in the cloud using a free service such as Dropbox. Each time you make an entry or an amendment in the software, the details are stored in the local data file. The location of which file is currently being used is displayed in the Banktree title bar. When you first exit the application, you are shown the following exit dialog box. You are prompted to select a backup location. Click on the settings button to see the options available. Backup frequency needs to be set up. This is how often the backup is done upon exiting the software. It can be set to never, to once a week. To set the backup file location, click on the Browse button. Use the left pane to find your drive and folder and use the right pane to select the location of your file. You need to provide a name and location for your backup file. You should not select the same location as your data file but you should give the backup file the same name as your data file. I will call it Banktree1. And then I'll click on the Save button. The location and file name has been stored in the backup location. If you would like to back up your attachments, you can check the box for Backup Attachments, File and Store. If you are using the Banktree mobile app and would like to use the file, synchronising between the mobile app and the desktop, then this would mean you would need to install Dropbox. You would set the location to your Dropbox files here. You can set the decimal precision for investment and currency calculations from two to nine decimal places. You can associate QIF and OFX file types. You can assign the Banktree application to import these file types directly when you open them on your computer. Click on the OK button when you're done. The application will exit and create a backup. Open the Banktree application. You can also do a manual backup from within the application. Go to the file menu and select Backup. I then need to set the location for my backup file. As before, I need to select the drive and folder where the backups will be created and I need to provide a backup file name. As before, I will call it Banktree1. I'll click on Save and I'm finished. On creating the backup, you are given a confirmation message that the backup has been done. To restore your backup files, go to the file menu and select Restore Backup. You are shown a message which tells you the difference between opening your data file, which is done via the Open menu, and restoring a backup file. You are asked if you want to continue with restoring your backup file. Click Yes and go to the backup location. Click on the backup file you want to restore from. When you look at the backup location, you will notice your original file name has been given a date and a time stamp. This is so incremental backups can be done. So if there is a data file corruption, it's easier to find your restore point. After selecting the file, click on the open button. The file is restored and you are given a confirmation message. The software then restarts. 
Let's look at file archiving. Archiving is done to store away your previous year's details, as typically these transactions will have been reconciled and you won't need day-to-day -day access to the transactions. Go to the file menu and select archive. You are asked to select the archive date. I will set the archive date to 11 April 2014. You then have the option Remove archive transactions from current file. By selecting this option, archive transactions are deleted from your current file. Otherwise, your current file will not be updated. When done, click on the OK button. You are then asked to select the location of your archive file. You will need to provide a file name. The file name can be anything you want it to be. After saving an archive, my data file has been updated, the balance has been adjusted, and my previous transactions have been removed. I can also open the archive file just like a normal file, which shows my archived transactions. I hope you have enjoyed the Banktree tutorial on backing up, restoring and archiving. This is the end of the tutorial. Bye for now.